AGC members build and shape Michigan. From world headquarters to arenas and water treatment plants to churches, the work that AGC members perform improves our quality of life. Construction matters and the projects AGC members build continue to advance Michigan's economic well-being and showcase the best the industry has to offer. Spence Brothers was awarded the challenge to construct the Waterfront Event Center at Headland Dark Sky Park. As stated by the owner, we want something more than just a building. The county sought a facility that would incorporate sustainability, beautiful design, and incorporate symbols of the park's status as an astronomy sanctuary, while also providing public event space. The Headlands International Dark Sky Park sits on 600 acres of land owned by Emmett County on the shores of Lake Michigan. The Spence Brothers team was able to provide a 12,000 square foot facility featuring a timber truss roof system, which was fabricated off-site, allowing versatility and compatibility with other structural products and long spans without intermediate support to create the large open spaces requested resulting in the only facility of its type on Earth. Building an observatory is a rarity in the construction industry, then add in winter conditions at the Straits of Mackinac, and both create special requirements to protect equipment within from vibration, temperature, and moisture. The observatory tower houses a steel-framed 18-foot ash dome, which features a reinforced concrete pier vibration isolation mount for imaging instrumentation and two telescopes. The Waterfront Event Center and Observatory has played a significant role in advancing the programming at the park, as well as overall awareness of the dark sky programming, both nationally and internationally. Granger has been the construction manager for Michigan State University Federal Credit Union projects for nearly 10 years. This new 186,350 square foot headquarters project demanded an elevated level of expertise and leadership. Dealing with continual changes throughout the construction process and a shortage of qualified contractors and skilled tradespersons led to numerous challenges. The project also had complex objectives, including LEED certification and third-party HVAC and envelope commissioning. New and innovative strategies and processes were also key success factors. Granger developed and implemented a Right Start meeting as soon as the project was awarded. This meeting included the client, architect, engineers, and the contractor, and was geared towards promoting a positive team environment that prevailed throughout the entire project. The three-story glass, concrete, and steel structure featuring a brick and glass exterior was constructed using high efficiency, environmentally friendly, and locally sourced products in construction and operation. A soaring glass-windowed three-story atrium offers spectacular views of the campus, while the interior employs modern workspace features and an open architectural design to accommodate 564 employees. Granger's application of lean construction principles combined with its use of cutting edge tools and a collaborative mindset helped to ensure that this project was delivered safely, efficiently, and in a cost-effective manner for the client. The DiMaria team helped transform the University of Michigan's Wiser Hall into a space for interaction and collaboration. The 12-story building renovation of approximately 105,000 square feet, originally constructed in 1963, was designed to combine welcoming areas for students and an academic workplace for administration. While utilizing natural light, shared spaces, and green building practices throughout. 
In order to meet the university's schedule and anticipated occupancy date, Di Maria created a top-down construction plan for the building's demolition and renovation. In addition to utilizing BIM coordination, the Di Maria team completed 3D scanning of the building, which helped reduce the unknown as trades developed plans to complete their scope. Measuring sustainable strategies and creating energy efficient space was an important vision for the university. Some features included self-sustaining green walls holding live plants and an irrigation system which acts as a natural air filter. The Di Maria team maintained exceptional service regarding safety, training, employee relations and scheduling. The project was completed with zero recordable injuries and over 260,000 hours worked. The positive impact of the Weiser Hall renovation expands beyond the walls of the building and spills out into the community through the attitudes and enlightenment of the staff and students that utilize the new space each day. The George W. Walk Company was selected for the task of constructing a 91,200-square-foot, three-story World Headquarters office for Fortune 500 Corporation, Masco, on an 11.9-acre site. With an open office design and exposed MEP system with multiple levels of acoustical clouds in work areas, the MEP system installation had to look fluid. By utilizing BIM early in the process, the team was able to identify the congested areas early on and modeled them to make them a part of the aesthetic design while still providing comfort. Most projects would not have multiple plumbing fixture manufacturers used, but when you're a world leader in plumbing fixtures, you want to showcase them. Design emphasis was placed on incorporating Masco's building product lines, such as craft-made cabinets, bare paint, Brizzo lights and toilet accessories, brass craft plumbing fittings, and Delta plumbing fixtures. Masco wanted to eliminate exterior window treatments and dark window tints to create a clean and clear view of their office and maintain energy efficiency. The result? A relatively new technology for building glazing called Pleotint a thermochromic technology which self-tints when heated by direct sunlight. Lawrence Lehman, Director of Corporate Taxes at Masco said, The building speaks for itself, whereby without exception, every visitor marvels at the finished design and construction. The George W. Auk Company played a key role in this achievement and collectively, the partners have taken great pride and accomplishment in completing a world-class world headquarters. R.C. Hendrick and Son realized that the Cathedral of Mary of the Assumption renovation project was far more than remodeling an old church. It was one of the important puzzle pieces in the ongoing revitalization of the heart of Saginaw. The $4.7 million renovation included a new sanctuary, new marble altar, new baptismal font, cleaned and restored stained glass windows, new efficient lighting, new bathrooms, new pews, fresh paint, new community gathering space in the basement, technology for streaming services, and parking lot improvements. The breathtaking sanctuary with hand-carved marble pieces truly makes this project stand out from the rest. The striking marble crucifix was carved in 1877 by Hermann Kern, a German sculptor living in Philadelphia. The ambo, or pulpit, was carved in Italy, as well as all the marble that is on the floor of the cathedral, including the baptismal font, and Statue of the Assumption. The detail and attention to all the special pieces has made this cathedral a sought-after site for congregation pilgrimages. Bishop Sistone could have chosen to close the cathedral and choose a church in another area to highlight. 
However, he, along with R.C. Hendrick, is committed to the revitalization of Saginaw. Resurrecting this cathedral would not just be giving it a fresh coat of paint or hand-carved marble structures, but a sense of hope for the future. The joint venture team Barton Mallow Hunt and Project Associate White Construction are proud to have built the Little Caesars Arena in the District Detroit, which serves as the home of the Detroit Red Wings and Detroit Pistons. The biggest challenge for the Barton Mallow Hunt team on Little Caesars Arena can be summed up in one word, schedule. The arena had to be ready for the 2017-18 Red Wings home opener. To achieve the ambitious 28-month schedule, the team dug into the ground immediately, working seven days a week, excavating to a depth of 40 feet where the ice surface would eventually sit below street level. After 18 months of construction, with less than 10 months until the grand opening, and with building finishes already partially installed, the Pistons announced Little Caesars Arena would become their new home for the 2017-18 NBA season. While a tremendous boon for the city of Detroit, the move added $40 million in scope to the program without extending the owner's move-in date. All had to be redesigned, and some required rebuilding without adding a single day to the schedule. Through 24-7 shifts, the team managed the seemingly impossible with zero delay. One of the most exciting and innovative features of the new arena is the gondola seating, a massive suspended steel frame that hangs from the arena's roof. Supporting an arch structure from the roof that is 350 feet long and 20 feet wide provided a host of complications to tolerances based on the work that was happening on the roof. Little Caesars Arena is the result of the incredible vision that Mike Illich and the rest of the Illich family have for the city of Detroit. That vision was made a reality with homegrown talent and skill and is the product of love, pride, and pure Detroit hustle. Chosen due to the company's extensive experience in laboratory construction, Spence Brothers was engaged as the CM to construct a fit-out of over 24,000 square feet of new laboratory and office space for NSF International. Throughout the pre-construction process, Spence Brothers and NSF identified areas to add cost efficiencies into project delivery and materials procurement while maintaining NSF's stringent internal requirements for the laboratory environment. One of the challenges of this expansion was fitting everything the owner needed into the existing shell space. That's where the use of BIM ensured that the extensive mechanical, electrical, and plumbing infrastructure would fit in the space. While the build-out of the new lab spaces at NSF International were in a shell space, the team needed to control access and seal access points to other areas of the facility, parts of which operated 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, from noise, contaminants, dust, sound, and even vibration. This challenge was made more difficult by the need to relocate or connect to existing electrical and plumbing systems in the occupied spaces. In order to facilitate the new connections without interrupting NSF's existing labs, the superintendent kept in close communication with the facilities director and the campus director of laboratories to understand the sensitivities of adjacent spaces and develop ways to mitigate the impacts of construction. The newly completed expansion allows NSF to proficiently continue its testing and certifying activities of food, water, dietary supplements, consumer products, and aftermarket auto parts. The Country Club of Detroit has had many renovations over the years since its initial construction in 1927. 
and the latest phase was managed by McCarthy and Smith. This latest redevelopment plan included removing the existing bowling lanes, removing the original interior swimming pool underneath, underpinning the foundation of the wing, and constructing a new lower level for the new bowling center, including an underground vault to store bowling equipment. It also entailed constructing an all-new first floor and mezzanine space for the fitness center, casual entrance addition, and an historic corridor to display artifacts, including Arnold Palmer's 1954 U.S. Amateur Trophy. One of the initial tasks was determining how to expand the existing space to accommodate the club's new amenities without impacting the integrity of the wing's historic architecture. The project team resolved to remove the original interior pool and excavate five feet below the existing foundation wall to create a new lower level that would hold the bowling alley and vaulted area to store the equipment. The new fitness center and mezzanine space would then be constructed on the first floor in addition to a new casual entrance and historic corridor. The number one priority of the client and project team was safeguarding the integrity of the existing structure. The McCarthy and Smith team created a solution that involved the placement of push piles to support the existing foundation that allowed the underpinning of the foundations to be performed without concern for settlement. The Country Club of Detroit embarked on this renovation with the mission to become the premier country club in Michigan. And by the looks of the completed project, they have succeeded. George W. Walk had the pleasure of helping the Brightmore Christian Church with its addition and renovation, which doubled the size of their worship center and created a visual prominent symbol of hope and faith. This building form was technically challenging to construct. In a radial layout, even a minute error translates to a large dimensional error the further it is from the origination point. To address this, the AWP team established control points and instructions for each trade contractor who used independent surveyors for their work as well as checking each other's layouts. Auk then provided an additional layer of verification, so in the end, the numbers checked, with all components coming together as planned. In addition to the layout challenges, there were seven distinct exterior finish systems, each with different fabrication and erection tolerances. The project team understood the importance of making safety everyone's business, which resulted in a very safe project with zero incidents and zero days lost. Another component of the team's safety program was collaborating with Myosha on Take a Stand Against Falls in Construction Day and other informal invitations to inspect the site. Brightmore's chairman and senior pastor said, looking back, our experience with Auk Company has been positive from start to finish. Clearly, your commitment to excellence in construction management and client satisfaction permeates your entire organization. The Sparrow Plaza building is a beautiful state-of-the-art facility that will benefit a community for years to come. And that's what the Christman Company accomplished with the Plaza Building and associated 600-car precast parking structure. With a four-story, 132,000-square-foot facility that is home to the Herbert Herman Cancer Center. An aggressive 19-month schedule, a small footprint, and maintaining access to the front entrance of the fully functional professional building were just a few of the challenges the Christman team faced. Unique construction methods of the project included the parking deck, which was constructed of architectural cladded precast, and the plaza building, which used a combination of concrete, steel, and shielded masonry block to establish radiation control in the specific cancer rooms using radiation for treatment purposes. 
Sustainably sourced materials were used extensively throughout the project and made up more than 40% of the total cost of materials. With indoor environmental quality being critical to the health and well-being of the occupants of the building, low volatile organic compound materials such as paints, carpets, sealants, adhesives, and casework were employed in order to provide a healthy indoor environment. The designs for HVAC and lighting systems employ efficient equipment and technologies, resulting in a projected use of 12% less energy than the baseline. The new systems resulting from the renovations save enough energy to equal 5,431 metric tons of carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere. That is equivalent to 2,971 tons of coal burned, or enough energy saved to power 586 homes for a year. The Chrisman team was readily available to help Sparrow Health address anything that came up throughout the project, maintaining excellent communication between all parties. The Seawick construction team took on the renovation and restoration of a 93-year-old three-story building. Originally constructed in 1924, it served as apartment housing for some of the prominent leaders in the Flint carriage, wagon, and even auto industry. Today it serves as supportive housing for tenants with special needs, homeless, or in risk of being homeless. This $6.4 million project, under the strict guidelines of HUD and Mishta Fair Housing, was a challenge. The existing apartment sizes couldn't be altered as originally planned because of the historic guidelines. Additionally, lead paint was evident on every wall throughout the facility. Seawick Construction stepped outside of its box and became licensed through the state of Michigan in lead abatement and abated all of the lead throughout the building. Adjacent to the renovated building, the Seawick team demolished an existing garage and apartment house and rebuilt a new three-story apartment building. Due to the age of the building and the location being adjacent to an old burial ground for Native Americans, during the demolition phase, the team was required to employ the services of an archeological company to observe the process. Safety during the 15-month project for Seawick and the trades resulted in zero incidents, which was extremely good due to the nature and extent of the project parameters. Community's first president and CEO, Glenn Wilson, praised the efforts of the Seawick team. As a result of our collective efforts, the project was completed satisfactorily. It has received Enterprise Green Communities certification and there are 36 families who have a beautiful community to call home. Seawick Construction has been an important part of our ability to execute amazing affordable housing developments in the city of Flint. When a local health organization was seeking to invest in the construction of a new medical complex, on a parcel of land that included a brownfield site, as well as the existing Marquette Municipal Service Center, the city of Marquette was faced with the immediate need to relocate and replace their existing service center as quickly as possible. The Gunlock Champion team was ready for the challenge. During the process of purchasing the new property for the service center, Delays in negotiating between the city and the healthcare organization forced the city to put a temporary hold on signing a construction contract with GCI, and the project was stalled for nearly eight months. Despite this delay, the original scheduled completion date was still met. The city of Marquette was very engaged in the entire process. Weekly conference calls with the Gunlock team were held to review the latest budget, current design issues, and latest news from the city of Marquette. Since the project was built on a guaranteed maximum price, 
Cost was a major factor throughout the project. Insulated precast panels were used throughout most of the building, which allowed an aggressive construction schedule, helping to reduce costs. In lieu of the traditional steel rebar, GCI used Gator Bar, a fiber-reinforced polymer rebar in the sidewalks and exterior concrete slabs, and was able to recognize cost and labor savings by doing so. This material is rust-free for an extended structure life and two times stronger than steel at the same price. Kurt Goodman, Director of Public Works and Utilities, stated, the entire GCI organization adopted the project's one-team concept, and it proved to be a successful partnership with the City of Marquette to deliver a quality facility that will serve the city well into the future. The Genesee County Water Treatment Plant treats up to 30 million gallons of water per day. Spence Brothers served as general contractor for activities covering the 75-acre site, while also self-performing the foundations and flat work associated with the project, totaling over 17,800 cubic yards of concrete. The plant includes a four-acre stormwater detention basin, a 15-acre raw water impoundment basin, and finished water reservoir. The central plant area consists of a 94,146 square foot central administration building, a connected treatment building, pumping room, separate chlorine and pump station buildings, and a finished water reservoir. All of the buildings are supported on driven steel H-piles. The $74 million project is the largest contract ever delivered by Spence Brothers. The original schedule was specified for substantial completion within 700 days of the contract award. However, Spence Brothers sought to beat that schedule by more than three months and exceeded those goals reaching substantial completion 121 days prior to the final contract schedule. In addition to being the largest of any project built by Spence Brothers, it was also the company's first project that utilized Procore project management software. While other companies might see piloting a new software program on the largest project in its history an odd approach, the team recognized the project management efficiencies that could be gained and realized. The M1 Concourse Project, located off of Woodward Avenue in Pontiac, is a car enthusiast's dream. The Brownfield site had been repurposed over the course of 100 years from different manufacturing facilities, which General Motors ultimately used as a truck verification facility in the early 2000s. The M1 concourse consists of 12 pre-engineered metal buildings, totaling 127 individual garage units, which owners can use for vehicle maintenance areas and entertainment spaces. The site includes a 1.5-mile performance track with 10 turns, a one-third mile straightaway, and numerous elevation changes to give any experienced driver a heart-throbbing thrill of excitement. Previous developers avoided the 87-acre site because of the daunting effort to remove the remaining 2.5 million square feet of concrete floor slabs and asphalt pavement. M1 Concourse saw this as a sustainable opportunity for construction reuse. Engineers adjusted the site plan grades to have a net zero cut fill grade with the plan to reuse all concrete and asphalt in the new design. A concrete crushing plant was installed at the site and the former plant floor slabs and pavement areas were demolished, pulverized, and reused as engineered fill beneath new buildings and pavement areas, and saving significant disposal fees 
and avoiding off-site truck traffic. There were strict specifications on the track paving that ensured the process would provide a smooth and durable driving surface that could handle high-end performance vehicles. The team designed and installed an 8-inch limestone base with 4 inches of high-performance asphalt mix. As a requirement, the paving had to be done continuously to eliminate horizontal asphalt joints. Therefore, the paving required the entire 1.5 miles of pavement to be placed in a day. The M1 concourse was a challenging project due to existing environmental conditions and site location, but the project team was able to deliver exceptional service. 14 projects, thousands of hours of highly skilled labor, superiority in construction and project management, tireless determination and hard work, built with skill, integrity and responsibility. The hallmarks of AGC of Michigan members and this year's nominees for the Build Michigan Awards. <laughs>